Hi friends, so today we are taking a look at the new mousepad from a company called Highstar. This mousepad is called the Mirai and is soon to be released. So this particular mousepad is the first limited edition run of the new Elite Series mousepads and they are going to release just 300 units. Mine is the number 153. They are probably testing the waters of the premium mousepad market with this and if this sells well I believe more editions are coming. And I truly hope that happens because this is a really well-made mouse pad. This pad arrived flat packed and they had thrown some extra goodies in the package like this silicon coaster. They also put in some cleaning tips to end the endless reddit posts about how to clean my mouse pad in r slash mouse pad review. Beware though. The smell of this pad was kinda bad and even overthrew the sweet vanilla scent I had in my office room from opening a G-Wolf's mouse. So maybe let it breathe some fresh air outside before using this. Let's start with the surface of this pad. This fabric they have used is a hybrid texture but with a very matte finish. From a closer inspection the weave seems very similar than on the Aqua Control 2 for example but like almost sanded down in a sense. It is very smooth but with some feedback from the mouse gates. They were able to apply this interesting design to this pad which consists of some random HTML code and the text golden standard. One thing I noticed about the design that the horizontal line in the middle is not exactly a straight line. Most likely because it is quite hard to apply designs to porn based pads. Here are some comparisons with other surfaces like the Axtra Pad Aqua Control 2, Artisan Hayate Otsu, the Little Gaming Gear Venus Pro and the Artisan Hien. The surface seems to gather a bit of dirt quite quickly and it is very visible on the white parts of this pad. I tried to clean it according to the instructions but especially the white arrows right where my wrist rests show some discoloration still. The base of this pad is according to High Star the same poron as Artisan uses and the softness they have mentioned is X soft. But from a closer inspection the material seems a bit different. The color is a bit darker and the nipples or lumps are more pronounced. The softness is also a bit firmer than the Artisan X soft but not as firm as the soft base Artisan uses. It allows a bit more control when you press your mouse harder to the pad. So even though it might not be the exact same poron Artisan uses it performs the same. The stitching of this pad is honestly one of my favorite ones I've seen. It's basically on level with the surface height wise but the width is very slim. There is zero inconsistency to be seen and you can't feel the stitching in use at all. One thing I don't like is the extra tab on the side. I mean it shows the number of the unit you have from the 300 pads made but it takes away some surface space from the pad and you can actually move the pad from the tab since now the base is not 100% airtight with the tab. Like it doesn't move when I move it from the middle, but from the tab it's really easy to move it. Next up let's talk about the performance and the speed of this pad. My experiences with this pad have been really good and I can perform very well with this and especially tracking feels very natural. I did my usual speed tests on this pad and the data shows that the static friction or the tug you feel when you start moving your mouse is a bit higher than my preference is, especially with larger skates. The static friction sits right between the little gaming gear Saturn and the whale smooth criminal so that means that the pad is more like a control pad static friction wise. The kinetic friction or how fast the pad feels during mouse movement is a bit higher than on my Artisan here in Xsoft but less than on the little gaming gear Saturn. So you could say that this pad is like a Saturn speed wise but with the hybrid surface. So to wrap it up I'd put this pad in the faster control pads category. You can get this pad for 50 US dollars including shipping in the United States so I think it's very competitive with similar mouse pads with similar specs. However you can't get this pad anywhere in the EU so for us European customers you would need to pay some extra import fees depending where you live. That is why I don't really recommend this pad for EU customers but for those who live in the land of freedom I can recommend this. If you wipe with the design and are looking for a poron based pad with similar speeds as the Saturn go check it out. I left the link to this pad in the description below and like always 
thanks for watching and press subscribe and like if you found this video helpful. See you on the next video. Goodbye.